today we are going to discuss the mosfet what is the mosfet mosfet is nothing but the metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor the contents that we are going to discuss are mosfet structure and the symbol then we'll discuss the cut off region linear region and saturation region and at the last we will discuss the iv characteristic of the mosfet the mosfet there are different types of the mosfet first is depletion mosfet and second is enhancement mosfet in depletion mosfet there is a physical channel present between the two same material to n material or to p type material but in case of the enhancement mosfet no any physical channel is present that means we have to generate the channel present between the two semiconducting material so again there are the two types of the mosfet depending on which type of the channel we are getting in the mosfet that is n channel mosfet and the p channel mosfet here this shows the structure of the mosfet so the mosfet is having generally the four terminals known as gate source drain and body so here is the gate terminal and the gate is made up of the polysilicon material the source is there that is attached to the n type semiconducting material and drain is attached to the second n type semiconducting material then we are having a oxide layer is present between the body and the gate and again the body terminal or the substrate is made up of the p type material that is p type semiconducting material mean for the n type of the mosfet we are having the two n type semiconducting material separated by a body or the substrate here the sio2 layer is acting as insulator and whatever the remaining things these are acting as a semiconducting materials so the symbol is shown here the drain terminal the source terminal and the gate terminal and again the symbol is shown by including the body terminal or the substrate here and this arrow direction shows the current of the mosfet that means the flow of current of the mosfet so whenever we are applying the gate at the low voltage the transistor is becoming off and when we apply the gate voltage high the transistor is becoming on so that we are going to see later on while seeing the operation of the mosfet the p type is similar to the n type but the change is there in the doping levels and the voltages are reversed in this case so here in the previous case what is the level applied at the body terminal the body terminal is applied at the zero potential or the lowest negative value but in case of the p type mosfets we are applying the high voltage that is vdd to the bulk substrate or the body region of the mosfet and this bubble is indicating the inverted action of the p mosfet so here the substrate terminal is there and the arrow direction is outward as compared to the n mosfet so when to operate the mosfet as on we have to give the low value for the gate or negative value for the gate and to operate the transistor in off condition we have to apply the high value to the p mosfet at the gate term then we will see the operation of the mosfet first we are going to see the mosfet in cut off region so this is the diagram of the mosfet and the different batteries are applied to the both mosfet terminals here we are getting the gate the source terminal and the drain terminal is there so initially we are applying the gate to source voltage as it was to zero and again the body terminal in case of the n mosfet always connected to the zero or the highest negative potential here and because of that no any physical channel is present between these two n type of semiconducting material and because of that no any flow of the electrons or the charge carriers present here 
and amount of the current flow in the circuit is equals to zero. Means VGS equals to zero, no channel, and because of that, current is equals to zero in case of the cutoff mode. The next mode we are going to see, this is called as the N-MOSFET linear mode of operation. So here the diagram shows the difference, different biasing levels present at the different terminals. Here the source and the gate terminal is maintained at the VGS is greater than VT. VT is what? This is the threshold voltage available. It is giving you the minimum voltage at the gate to source terminal so that there is a start of the flow of current in the circuit or there is maintaining a physical channel present between the two end type materials. We will see how this is formed. So here VGS is greater than VT, the VDS is equals to zero. Now we will see how the channel is formed in between these two end type materials. The P type is nothing but it is a substrate. The majority charge carriers in the p-type material are holes and the semiconducting material here we are using as n-type material so the majority charge carriers in this n-type are electrons means to connect the two n regions we should get the channel and that should be made from the electrons present in the circuit so now what to do that so that the electrons from the p-type body will be attracted towards the gate side and this will give the formation of the channel here so now for this purpose you know that the opposite polarity attracts for attracting the electron towards the gate terminal we have to apply the gate terminal with the positive signal or the positive voltage means we are starting to increase the gate voltage so what will happen this positive amount of the gate voltage will attract the electrons present in the p-type body so these are starting to accumulate near the gate terminal and when this vgs reaches to the threshold value there is sufficient amount of the channel is formed between the two n type material so now for vgs greater than vt but vds equals to zero the channel is formed but there is no any flow of current in the circuit because the nothing is there, no force is available here to force the electrons to pass from source to drain. So next, when we are applying the VDS value, here in the previous case, VDS equals to zero. Now, slowly we are applying the VDS value and changing the value of VDS. So because of that, what will happen is positive terminal of the battery will attract the electrons towards it means the electrons are flowing from source terminal to the drain terminal here yeah? so here the electrons are flowing from source to drain and you know that the current flow is opposite to the direction of the flow of electrons the ids flows from drain to source so now because of the formation of channel and application of the vds value there is a flow of current in the circuit now as we are increasing the value of VDS, the IDS is increased. So this is called as linear region of the MOSFET because IDS increases as VDS and it is also called as the resistance. Means the MOSFET in linear region acts as a resistance because you know that resistance R is equals to V by I. So here we are getting the proportionality of the current with respect to the applied input voltage. Now in case of the saturation region, so in case of the saturation region we have applied the VGS is greater than VT maintaining the threshold level forming the channel but as we are increasing the value of the VDS further means when VG, VDS becomes equal to VGS minus VT. What will happen here? It is increasing the depletion region towards the channel. Because of that, the channel is acting just like a pinching of action. So the channel pinches off. So further, as we are increasing the value of VDS, because of the pinching off of the channel and increasing the depletion region across this PN junction, means the N material and the P material are forming the PN junction and as you are increasing the reverse bias, you know that there is increase of the depletion region. So as the VDS value increases, the depletion region 
increases and the channel pinches off and because of that the value of id further not increases whatever the id is there previously so that is going to become constant here the current saturate means current further not increases and in this way the circuit or the mosfet is acting just like the constant current source so in the saturation we are getting the flow of constant current independent of changes in the vds means if we are changing the vds value still we are not getting any change in the value of the current that is the drain to source current this is the iv characteristic here so the equation shows that when the vds value is vt this is a cut off your id value is equals to 0 and in linear your id value is given by it is dependent on the beta and the vds so this equation shows that your current the drain to source output current depending on the value of vds but in the saturation when vds is greater than vd sat this shows that your id is constant and it is not depending on the value of vds because the changing factor is vds here but the constant factor is vgs and vt means in case of saturation region the id the current that is output current is constant and not changing with respect to the value of vds so this plot shows the different region of operation initially the value of the current is zero so in prior further as the vds value increases the id is increased but further increasing the value of the vds the id becomes constant in this case cut off the id is zero in linear region your id varies with respect to the vds in saturation region ids is independent on the value of vds now let us see the summary of the mosfet the mosfet to operate the mosfet on and mosfet on we have to apply the positive gate voltage because the n type semiconducting materials are used here and to form the channel we require the flow of electron towards or the accumulation of electrons towards the gate and to accumulate that electron these are negative charge particles we have to apply the positive gate voltage means to operate the nmos on we require the positive gate application so now in case of the linear region we are operating the transistor as a resistor means the change in value of the current is there with respect to the change in applied drain to source voltage means in this region the resistor acts as a linear means here in this region the mosfet acts as a resistor so in the saturation region the current is going to be constant that is not dependent on the value of vds so in the saturation region the mosfet is acting as a constant current source okay thank you very much